Thank you for stomping by WeAreIowa.com. I'm Chris Kubal. We're taking a look at your local five weather impact forecast. And what's impacting our weather, at least for early Wednesday evening, still red flag warning, elevated fire concerns due to dry air, dry vegetation, and a strong wind. Now that wind is going to be going away for Wednesday night, and so too will this red flag warning. But we're going to be watching that forecast closely as it does look like some elevated fire concerns may return, especially as we dive into the weekend. Now, here's that wind that's easing up still initially out of the south, but early on Thursday, that wind's going to shift directions and turn more northeasterly as a weak cold front pushes through. So that yellow is denoting that elevated fire risk. The wind speeds also plotted after dark. Those go away and alleviates that bit of a risk in far northern Iowa going into tomorrow. Northwestern Iowa does look like that uh, risk level is a bit enhanced once again, something we will have to monitor once again towards Saturday too. So temperatures are going to be jumping around. We have some weak frontal passages moving through and day-to-day uh, -day changes are going to be rather steep, but nothing too cool, mind you. Also, no major storm systems, and that means very little in the way of rain prospects moving forward. Fall colors are starting to come into their own. The best color right now found in the northern part of the state. But we're still a ways off from peak, and it looks like that uh, peak color is going to be best as we move towards the second to third week in October. Still a couple of uh, areas of the state not being reported by the DNR, but it does look like the middle of August will be the prime time. I mentioned some fronts passing through, a little weak one moving in on Thursday. A couple of clouds trying to pulse up here, but we are moisture starved and we'll struggle to get anything of substance here. Temperatures uh, won't be impacted too much on Thursday based on the timing of that front, but more so getting into Friday. Notice here there are a couple of returns. I don't expect much out of this. Again, moisture starved, but if you're lucky, you may run into a sprinkle uh, for Thursday night. Temperatures back in the 70s for Friday, but watch as they soar once again into the start of the weekend. 90s and one of the latest instances of seeing 90 degrees as well. Should we make it on Saturday? Only five times in the calendar have come later with that 90 degree temperature, but then another front back into the 70s. So this big seesaw pattern will continue for now. 52 is the call for the overnight low tonight and then 81 on Thursday. Temperatures jumping up a little more, but those up and down ways largely continuing. I think 80s for the better part of central and southern Iowa are expected. Now we will settle things back down Sunday. We dive back to the 70s and I think that's where we're parking things for most of next week. A subtle rise is noted. Again, no major storm systems. We don't have any rain chances in the next 10 days.